Karen is the type of person that's always willing to get involved in someone else's business, but the moment you get involved in theirs, all hell breaks loose. They don't like that. Welcome to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. Let's get into the clips. Here we've got a Karen who wants to have her cake and eat it too, and by cake I mean biscuits, and by eat it too she wants it fresh and does not want to wait the 30 minutes for them to be cooked fresh. Oh, y'all think everything is funny right now? Who's the manager here? Where the African lady got on the phone being smart and nasty? Where she at? I told you what I wanted. Did I ask something strange? Cause I said I want a fresh biscuit. You know, these customer service, I work too. And I don't be rude to my customers. I don't close the windows on my customers. I serve the customers to all the right what they give me back. She got a fresh biscuit. All I asked for fresh biscuit. I said it's the food fresh. All I asked for was fresh food. And I committed a crime. Then where's she at? She get on the mic, but she don't show her face. Is she the manager? Yep. Where's she at? Tell her, come on over here, talk to me. She was being nasty and rude on the mic. I want to see what corporate got to say about her, which they don't care because ain't nobody want to work these days. Okay. Thank you. I'm at the KFC. I said, y'all got fresh biscuits. She said, you want to wait 30 minutes. And I was like, 30 minutes for a biscuit? She said, I said, when the last time y'all cooked the biscuit? She said, oh, 10 minutes ago. And I asked fresh chicken, because, you know, I ain't been here in a while. Can I get honey and barbecue sauce? I just got off of work myself. But this is the KFC on Richmond Highway. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry, man, but uh, if you want fresh fast food, then it's no longer fast food because, you know, they've got to cook it up. Unless you got lucky enough to be getting there and having your order the moment they're finishing up cooking a fresh batch of food to replace the ones that have been finished off, then you're going to have to wait whatever time it takes to cook another round of the food that you want to have fresh. Whether it be another 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes for certain items, 30 minutes, and that just is what it is. If you want fresh food from a fast food restaurant, you got to be willing to wait the time and no longer it being a fast food restaurant because you want it fresh for damn sakes. But it's one of those things where it's fast food because the food's already cooked. It may not be the freshest of the fresh. You might get lucky and it's still kind of fresh, but it's fast food. That's what you pay for. If you want to have fresh, then it's no longer fast food. You're going to have to wait for the food to be cooked fresh for you. So, you, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And also, like, it's like, this is not how I would treat my customers. Yada, 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 yada. You close the window after you finish talking to me. And that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. That's rude. It's like, clearly, there was nothing else to say at that point in time. So, they closed the window until there was a need to talk to you again. And that's simple as that. Like, what is... Jeez. Oh, yeah, you just finished work too? Oh, my God. Good on ya. I guess. Prior to the recording of this clip, the person who's recording may or may not have cut off the purse the other person in this clip. Whatever happened, it led to road rage from this other person, which ultimately ended in something uh, amazing to say the least. Watch the clip. Children in the car, man. Get out the car and see me then. I have children in the car. You should have never cut. You stupid. I don't give a 
about your kids, you don't give a about mine. So yeah, record me. I'm on what camera. an example. I'm on camera. Wow. Okay, you guys. Don't, just, it's okay. You're okay, puppy, okay? Don't cry, it's okay. Congratulations, you want a reward for your stupidity? Like, what was the bright idea in that? Like, first off, it's like, I don't know what you were trying to do initially there when you were moving, but you can't drive for shit. Like, you just take multiple points to go one direction, then you decide to say, screw it, I'm gonna go slam right into this other person's car whilst they're recording me, because that ain't gonna backfire later. What the actual... <laughs> Are you dumb? Like... <laughs> I was gonna say before the crash happened, it's just like, well, there has been a crash so far. Uh, regardless of who ended up being at fault for the initial incident, you've clearly now attempted to do more damage to their car post the incident. So now things are gonna be a little more fishy. But no, no, the crash happens after the recording. She smashes into their car. It's like, I wouldn't be too surprised if the insurer, your insurance, drops you for this. Because this is like, you purposely did this. Not only were you road raging against this person, you also just purposely smashed into their car. Like, what were you thinking? Are you that dumb? What? Am I only one thinking about the sheer insanity it is to do something along these lines? Like, wow. I will actually have to cut the impact scene because YouTube will most likely age gate this video for that particular thing, so sorry about that. Here we got a Karen who doesn't like people who sit in the foyer of their apartments for some reason and she gets very, very angry and upset about it all. <laughs> Coming back. It's going back. Yo, yeah, Did you go to the Taste of Lawrence today, boys? What? Because it seems to be just one race that is breaking the rules all the time. Mom, and I'm I told them that at the Taste of Lawrence. 911 is what I'm calling. You're coming right now? Thank you. My mom is coming. You went away from my mom? No, I you don't want to for your mom. You went away from my mom? And money? you, you grinning idiot. Does he live here too? Yes. What's your, what are your apartment numbers? Are you brothers? Yes. No, I, I wouldn't believe you if you were sitting on a stack of Korans. <laughs> Finally she left. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't come back again. Yeah, wait, wait, like this. Look at him. No, I can let go. The theme. And off the Karen goes, walking off into the night to go harass someone else because that's all these Karens know what how to do and that's all they're going to do. I guess we'll see her in another clip sometime in the future. Bye bye Karen! So this Karen worker decides to ask this guy to leave the gym because he's got a bigger water bottle than the usual thing. A water bottle that won't fit in the cup holders inside of the gym and he's been asked to leave because you're not meant to bring those type of water bottles in. The thing is, there is no written policy that she can bring up to actually prove her case here. Here's a clip. In your policy where it says I have to have a bottle that no, fits. No, I can't because each Planet Fitness is different and each Planet Fitness can come up with their own rules and that is my general manager's rule. 
so I have to stick by her rules. You you have it you have it nowhere where anyone can see it. It's just an arbitrary rule that you pull out of air that you can't show me in writing, that you don't have posted anywhere in your in your gym. That is correct. So you you just come out with a rule that nobody knows about. Everybody that comes here knows about that rule. Do they? You I've been here with this bottle. Had they have a problem? Well, guys, y'all know that we can't have these on the floor. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle, and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle would not fit into her cup holders, which I go to multiple Planet Fitnesses and never have an issue. And she cannot provide me with any written documentation showing me that that is part of her policy, nor is it posted anywhere in the gym. But she says everyone knows about it. How will they know about it if it's not written down in a policy or it's not shown posted in your facility? So how would everyone know? Yeah, I just read it to you in section 4D. Are you going to be working out? Today? You didn't read me anything stating what you just said. You just said that you have the you, you reserve the rights to change any rule at any time. But you're not showing me anywhere in your policy where it states that you need to have a water bottle that will fit inside of all your cup holders. I asked you, could you provide me with written documentation, which you could not. You, you, got, you, you brought me a vague description of writing that said that you can change any rule. All I asked you to do is show me in this gym where the sign is posted or show me in your documentation that says all water bottles must fit into a cup holder. You act like I'm trying to bring a five gallon jug in here. I'm bringing just a, a half gallon water bottle that has never been a problem. Sir, can you please stop? That's all, that's all I'm saying. You, you still have not provided me any documentation for what I was asking. Facility, please. I'm gonna ask you to leave. So you can't provide any documentation? Are you gonna leave? I'm just asking, you can't provide any, yes or no? It's a simple yes or no. I mean, I'll leave if you ask me to leave. There's no need. I guess you're going you're gonna to call the cops, I guess, now. That's fine. But all I ask you to do is could you provide it, and I guess the answer is no. All right. Well, obviously, I see what you're doing. You want to call the police like I'm making a big problem for you. I'll go ahead and leave since you asked me to leave. But this video will be out, and, you, and they'll be showing you in your face. Thank you. I think the first thing I want to clarify is the policy itself makes a lot of sense. You want to only have certain water bottles that will fit into the cup holders coming to the gym because you don't want them to be on the floor because they might leave condensation that could potentially lead to slip hazards and other things along those lines. I can understand this being a rule. The problem is she can't pull up the actual policy that she's apparently reciting for the reason why one can't use a big water bottle like that. Again, I want to make it clear. This rule makes sense for a gym. Like, it's something that I completely understand why that rule's in place in the first place. But usually these are written policies that are very easy to understand. They're very, like, they, you get told up front, like, please only bring water bottles that will fit in the cup holders and stuff along those lines. Like, it's something that is made clear to you the first time you go to any of these gyms. If they have the policy. But not in this case, not only did it not get sold to this guy on multiple occasions, it's now being brought up to use against him and they don't even have it down in writing anywhere to prove that it's a policy that actually exists, which is really stupid. Here we go to Kevin going into his local Taco Bell to cause some problems with the manager after a potential misunderstanding over the phone. Ultimately though, the Taco Bell manager has done this rodeo before and is not willing to take his crap. Oh. You hung up the phone. On you my can't record back here, it's against the law. No problem. So I'm not gonna record back here. I'll record right here then. No problem. So you hung the phone up on my fiance, right? Yes, after, after said hello twice and she never responded. So when she responded, what happened? She didn't respond. I hung up the phone after saying hello twice. No, it wasn't, sir. There was a conversation on the okay, phone. you weren't on the phone. So yes, I was. I was listening to her get angry, sir. All right, what seems to be the problem? What can I do for you? So this is the manager here at Taco Bell. My name's Seth. Right. What's up? Which your what's up? So you you think this is this is going to get sent somewhere? <laughs> world star. I didn't beat your <laughs> so why would it go on world star? I don't know. You look like the type. I look like the type. You see this? This is the manager at Taco Bell. I look like the type that what? Would try to beat my. <laughs> you come in here acting all aggressive no, you, towards me. Sir, I didn't start aggressive. Acting, I I 
I stopped you. I said, sir. Hold on. This is one of my other employees. Did he not come in here acting aggressive towards yeah, me? Did. So, so what did I say? It was, look at your whole face and your whole attitude. My whole. Come in like how I'm talking. You came in like this, you know. So he's gonna do that. So he's gonna do what as a manager? He's going to. He's going to. Ask com- what the problem no, no, no. is. Which yeah, I did. Awesome. So you you're can- going to come. Okay, leave. Leave. First off, fix my, you fix my energy. Answer, so fix my food. Take care of your problem. You ain't getting nothing. Leave. I'm not getting nothing. Nothing. Leave. Get my food, fam. No, it's in the trash. Leave. Can you give me Leave my or refund? Leave call the cops or I'll call the cops. What do you want? No problem. Your name is what? Bob. Bob. What time you all close? Oh, it don't matter. It does matter. What time do you all close? I'm going to call the cops. No, I'm just... I'm in the contracts. You better get out of this. No problem. Place. I'm just asking a question. Oh, no it problem. don't matter. Goodbye. Bye. Taco Bell's obviously been through this before, has dealt with other people exactly like him, so he knows exactly what he needs to do to get these people to leave. And he's probably watched a lot of clips on it too, considering he knows where some of them get posted. But at the same time, uh, probably one thing I would advise to people, probably don't just straight up throw out their food and not give them a refund, because that might be something they could get you on in a lawsuit or something if they choose to take things that far, which I doubt in most cases, but it's just like, it's better be safe and not do something that could definitely be used against you and just like be all aggressive as you want but throwing out his food and not giving him a refund for it is definitely a bit of a not the wisest choice but the rest of it quite good best way to handle people like him so this guy takes his dog out for a walk on a pretty regular basis and of course as all dogs do they need to go to the toilet eventually it so happens to usually be at roughly around the same point of the walk it usually is so he takes another crap and then the guy picks it up and the guy who lives in the house who's front yard it technically happened in even though it's on the public area of his front yard decides to come out and start harassing the guy about it to sh- on your yard that was literally what i did when I, you moved here I've lived here for four years, man. The dogs all piss on the grass, all piss on the, or sh- on the on the rocks. You are not my target. I didn't train my dog to do that to you. Okay. So I don't know why you're giving me crap about it. I can't do anything about the dog. I'm asking you a question. <clears throat> and I've answered your question. What would you like me to do? Tell the dog to hold it until you're comfortable that he's over there, or the fact that a dog's gonna shit where a dog's gonna shit, and I pick it up, and that's a neighborly thing to do. The who left the shit there. That's an that wasn't me. I would agree with that. So I don't know why we're having this conversation. I don't target you, man. There's no victimization here. I didn't purposely go, you know what? The dude in the red shirt, I'm gonna fuck with him today. Alright, so like three times in the last fucking ten minutes, I've looked at my window and that's you with a dog. And you're gonna see it happen every time I bring my dogs out. Really? Yes, because they're gonna go where they need to right go. My apartment every time. This is this section is public easement, man. I know that dude. But so I what like do you right want me to do? I'm not gonna like I said, I don't know what you're doing. I try and walk them all the way over there. If they stop where they stop, I can't stop them. What would you like me to do? Shove the shit back up the dog's ass so I can get over there? No, I just... I'm trying to understand. What would you like me to do? A dog does not understand. Don't piss on the grass where all other dogs have pissed. Don't fucking piss on the grass. But does it have to be like right in front of my fucking window every time? I, please explain to me. How do I ex- communicate to my dog? I'm, I'm don't to, stop and piss right where you need to piss. I can't put fucking stretch of grass right here. You're always that. Dude, I don't purposely pick. Stop being a victim over something that has nothing to do with you. I am being nice. I'm telling you, I pick up every single time. If I had a dog, I would take it in front of your fucking apartment every time. Dude, I have nothing to. Again, don't be a victim about this because I didn't handpick you. You are being a victim. You're saying that I purposely do it in front of your apartment. How am I? How am I disrespecting you? I pick up after my dogs. Then explain to me, explain understand? to me, explain to me, how do you train a dog to not just sh- when it wants to sh- when you take it outside? You can't train your dog? I have trained my dog. That's why I take him outside to sh- and piss. To shit you? No. Well, where do you train it to shit? I train him to go on and sh- take shit when I walk him like any everybody else does. Okay. So how do so, keeps happening right here? Because this is where they pick to take a sh- man. They don't shit on your property. They shit over there. They shit over in the corner. They shit around the back. Okay. It's an animal. They are going to take a shit where they feel they need to take a sh- Okay, so I don't know why we were having this conversation then. Great, you carry on. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you for your approval where my dog can sh- This is You started this whole situation, man. I asked you a fucking straight up question. And I gave you a straight up answer. How would you like me to train a dog to not sh- where they all... Just take your f- 
fucking dog to shit in front of your neighbor's fucking window. Yes, I purposely you picked do. your house. Same, that's okay, I that's singled like you out, man. I, I've i been waiting. Standards. So for four years, I moved here four years ago just to meet you, just to have my dog shit in front of your house on purpose. My dream came true. Bye. Okay, buddy, I think it's time you need to just grow up a little bit. A dog is going to take a go to the toilet when it needs to go to the toilet. There's no real easy way to get a dog to not go to... Like, if you're outside taking the dog for a walk, it's just going to go to the toilet when it needs to go to the toilet. Like, the guy's picked up the mess already. He's already cleaned it right back up after his dog did it. And also, he's in the footpath area, which... From my understanding of what I've read up recently about the stuff here, most of the time, the footpath beyond which the road is usually publicly owned prop property, technically. So, that, that what, what's wrong with that? Oh no, the dog's doing what a dog does. When it needs to go to the toilet, it goes to the toilet. There's not much one can do about that. There's not much one can control about that. Yes, they can try to get him to go to the toilet before they leave the house, but sometimes dogs are going to be dogs and won't do that and won't need to go to the toilet until you're halfway through a walk. It is just what it is. There's not much that can be done about that. And sitting here causing a problem over it is just... Silly, to say the least. Firstly, we've got a Karen who is overreacting slash feeling entitled about a dog or something in a situation. I have no idea about the context on this one. I've just seen this clip, and it's very interesting still. Folks do any fucking thing they want to do. I'm so mad right now. That is not cool at all. She see him doing it too? The way you see him doing it ain't yep. so Yes. So I know that you're upset, so now since I said something, she comes over to me, she tells me she's having a busy night. I don't want to be So that means I got to get kicked out. So you tell me you're kicking me out? No, I'm So you're telling me you're kicking me out because I said something about the dog. There's nobody out here. Kick here. Look at the tables. Did I ever say I was kicking you out? No. I'm not kicking you out. Don't fucking holler at me. Is that thing? Okay, I'm going to get my manager and we are going to have to ask you to leave. So we're going to have to escort you out. I'm sorry. Did you hear that? I hope you know who I am. I, I hope you all know. Here. You don't have to be a job to you. But your people will hear. Okay, we're going to have me. to ask you to leave because this is getting out of control. It's definitely getting out of control. Yes. Y'all got a fucking dog out of a cup. Okay, that was not in our But so, so now you tell me because I said something I had to leave. I just spent $200. You said I got to leave? Yes, because First of all, I'm waiting for my lift. My lift is right there. Okay. I only was waiting for my lift. But you're not being polite, so like we're not going to have that here. You can't say something to me. No, I asked you to listen and you just kept talking. So I said we could not ask you to leave, but now we are. Get away from me. No. I love how this Karen wasn't going to get kicked out initially, but because of her continuous reaction to this entire situation, not just hearing out the worker at all, they just ended up kicking her anyway. In this clip here, we've got a Karen picking up an online order from Walmart. We're seeing what seems to be the aftermath of whatever situation occurred. While at Walmart grocery pickup, Karen on the prowl. You're welcome. Mind your own fucking business. You won't be ordering from Walmart pickup no more. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I'm the right person to say that to. You don't even realize I'm the manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy picking up your meals from now on. Very rude. Your name is Hitler, right? Unfortunately, we lack the context of what actually happened before this recording began, but considering that the attitude of the lady herself, as well as what the manager is saying, who are well, the person who claims to be the manager, obviously something did happen. In this next clip, we have an older Karen losing her mind at a pharmacy. Uh, 
This is another one where we lack a lot of context to the entire situation. I honestly have a funny feeling that this little person may potentially be having a medical episode that is causing this utmost anger, screaming and all that, considering how she is breathing between her yelling rants. But again, that's just speculation. In this next clip, we've got an aftermath of a situation that has this person exceedingly angry. Thank you, copyrighted music. I'm going to have to mute a lot of that. But what actually happened with that one? I'm legitimately curious on what happened before this. In this next clip, we have a Karen holding up people at the fuel station in order to get one fuel pump for herself coming in from the wrong direction. Been blocking us, telling us we came from the wrong side when there's a literally a line in the back right there. And then she came from that side. And she said that's the that's the right line, not the back side when there's two way. So like Hold on baby and my kids over here crying, she's blocking. Uh can you go ma'am? Cause uh my kid's crying in the back. My kid's crying in the back. I know you can hear me. You love making a scene, huh, Karen? <laughs> Miss Karen? Everyone's staring at you, Miss Karen? My kid's crying in the back. If you could just move aside, that'd be great. Yep, she ain't moving. She's, she, she ain't moving, guys. She ain't moving. You know, I hate these type of people. They're, they're just literally the words is like, oh, whoop, I'm going to go first. I don't give a damn if you, I wasn't waiting in line. I've got to go first. In this next clip, we put a Karen parking in a Tesla only car park with her Hyundai. Karen oh, parks please. in Tesla Take only this. parking spot. You're just, you know what? I can get on better to do with your time because this is what your your generation does you go on grinder and do hookups you show every part of your body you have no self-respect oh my goodness none whatsoever okay, okay. Let's just... no 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 okay. to mind your own business okay. he he comes and tries to tell me what i can do he's my there is a right so oh well i'm sorry i can't okay. see i can't see mm -hmm. I love how she just goes on this unrelated rant about this entire thing about how the new generation absolutely suck for this, this, and this, and has no relation to the current situation. In this next clip, we've got a Karen calling the cops over a bad haircut. <laughs> Look at this lady wasting my day. Wait for a bad right for here. a bad haircut for a bad one. haircut that I one. that I gave her that I gave her son that he asked for. You Look laugh? at her. wasting my day. Look at this whack job. 
Yeah. Boom, hands by the show, hands by the show. Whack job. Whack yes. job. Can you tell him to get away from Not, my face? No, I won't. No, I won't. I Look at her. Well. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Man, I gotta know, how bad was that haircut actually? This clip, we have an interesting situation unfolding whilst a person's leaving Walmart. I asked to see your receipt for electronics. can I get you up at the gym Okay, but didn't I tell you, you can ask the guys in the back if I hadn't I made the purchase? Anybody, didn't policy. I present you, didn't I present you a receipt? Just now. What's your name? My name is Tammy. And you work here? Yes. Okay, yeah. do you see the receipt? Are you nope. continue to stop me? Every time you try to go out the door with an electronics, I will. Okay, yes, I, and I told you I had a receipt. So what's the deal? We are supposed to see the receipt. Okay, well, are you detaining me? No, sir. I asked you okay, to see a you, receipt. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Can I now. leave? Thank you. Can I'm also curious what you guys think is in the wrong for this one because I'm not entirely sure which side to be on here mainly because I believe that if you fail to show your receipt when you're leaving with electronics and they've gotten up you for that then it's kind of your fault that you're in the current situation that you are in as we can see at the end of the clip the person sees the receipt says yep okay I've seen your receipt and then the clip ends there so we don't know what exactly happens afterwards either and after a bit of searching I ended up finding the other clips so I uh, enjoy the follow-up when is Walmart gonna learn why are you doing this <laughs> I, I told you I had a receipt. I presented a receipt. Okay, and I'm going to tell her that you're stopping me for nothing. Come okay. on. Thank you. Where, is she still coming? Oh, yeah, she's coming. Okay. I'll talk to your boss. I came here to purchase a goddamn TV. Is the manager here? Yes, I am. This lady, she has been very okay. uncooperative, very rude, disrespectful to me, so I come out. I'm, I, I just came here to get some TVs. She asked me if I had a receipt. She said, do you have a receipt? I said, yes, I had a receipt. I said, here's my receipt. And then I proceeded to leave, and then she tries to stop me from leaving the store. You know, after watching that clip, I feel like I'm a little less confused, but also more confused because what happens at the end of this clip? Does she just, does the manager just say, okay, fair enough, off you go? What, what, what even happened here? <laughs> I'm still a little lost.